Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and today we're going to be doing the next five stages of the fan home release and build the Michael Bay Optimus Prime. My name is Optimus So we're going to be doing stages 32 to 36 in these uh, stages and uh, we are going to be continuing on the torso section that we did in the last pack. Now if you do want to get this for yourself I'll put a link in the video description and there's also a QR code on the screen. Not much screwing today, there's a lot of slotting things in. Uh, I did this on the Patreon channel and we did actually talk about how this is very similar to actually doing a Gundam model but you'll see that in this video. I really do hope you enjoy it so without further ado let's get cracking. So we're going to start with stage 32 and this is the magazine, we just flick through that and as you can see we're going to be still working on the torso section and we've got loads of parts here and no screws, so these are all slot in things. We are going to need some stuff that we had from previous stages, namely these pistons which go in and out, if you remember we made four of them, I can't remember what stage we did that. I also am going to need this part here that we had uh, in one of the stages as well. Uh, but we're just going to be slotting these in to the torso section that we were making, looking just like that. Okay, now we know what we're doing. <laughs> Once we've done that and it gets to the end, that's all there is to do in stage 32. So you see, there's not much to do at all. Let's do this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this piece and I want this section facing forwards because I'm going to be putting some stuff just into here. So this is stage 32 let's get it open again lots of little pieces in here so what I tend to do is open these all up and lay them all out so the first piece I need looks just like this this will be the first piece that's going in to these little holes just here so make sure I've got this in the right way the cutout section should be towards the back and it is just a case of pushing in like that then I've got a larger piece here, looking like this, and this is going to go just behind it, the two lugs behind it there, two lugs down there, and again it is just a, a push-in. No glue needed or anything, and that holds in no problems at all. That was a nice easy stage. On this back section here, I've got two lugs coming out here, which is for these two pipes. Now they are D-shaped patterns. That's one, point in the wrong direction. They need to point down. So that's gonna dictate what way round these are actually going. So one in there like that. And finally, perfect. That one in there, just like that. Once I've done that, again, it's this side that I'm gonna be working on, I'm gonna be putting what we had in stage 26, this ring. On this edge here, we've got a lug. It's this edge here that I wanna line up with that position just there. And then again, it's a push in. So that's all pushed in, looking good. Turn it over. And then on these sections here and here, I've got, oh God, let's just figure this out. <laughs> I've got to put these in. They're going into the holes just at the bottom here. One is going in there like that. The other one's going in there like that. So looking good. I'll turn the page. This is where I'm going to need these pistons. And the way these pistons go, I want the shorter end of these to be facing outwards. So the chubbier end is going towards the middle. So one in there, and one in there. That's good. Uh, once they're in, I've got a couple more bits to put in, and that is this section here, which is going to be going into the two holes that we've got here. Just line that up and push that in. And then finally on top of that, 
I've got this little mask detail here, which slots in kind of like, this is like a Gundam model in itself. Just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So stage 33, here's the magazine. Flick through it. And as you can see, Torso part seven, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces here. We're gonna be actually making this part separate from the uh, torso, then attaching that, as you can see there. And then just adding some details to the end here. So again, at the end, it's now looking like that. Not much to do in these ones. So here's the parts for 33, and as you can see, there isn't much in this bag at all. So it looks like we're gonna be making some sort of bracket here. So what I need, is these two sections here first, and I'm gonna be plugging the larger section into the smaller section, just like that. I'm gonna be doing that on both sides. So this one will be going in here. So now we've got two of these, but they're facing in other directions, as you can see. This section here, let me tell you, see what some of these things are called. This is the pelvis backplate, and we're making uh, pelvis backplate hinges here. That's what we're doing. When we put these in, we have to put them in this way. So that these points here are facing out and this lug here is facing towards the inside. So I'll do the same on the other side here. Push that into the ball joint, just like that. And that's how that should look when it's correct. <laughs> Bring over the torso we've been working on. And the way this is gonna be going these top pieces that we've just created here going into these top sections here. And this is gonna be hooking over that bracket there. So it's just a case of putting them in, one there and one there. They are on hinge, so that's why they're in. So it's connecting in quite a few places actually. Let me get this other one in here as well. We've got a lug just down the bottom to go into this one. So that should fit in just like that. Do the same on the other side. And that's in. So that's in in every location. And that's how that should look. Okay, turn this over. Couple more bits to put on. Okay, we've got these three pieces to put together now. Now these do have D-shaped little lugs in these. So it's not hard to see which way this top one goes in. Let's just get that pushed in here. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. <laughs> that one's in. And this bottom one is gonna be slanted down, so it's gonna go in here just like this. Again, it's a very tight fit. I might have to uh, get my percussion instrument out just to help me get that into place. Like that. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be going into this little section just here. So it's a case of just lining up the lugs, pushing that in, and that is all there is to do in that stage. This is stage 34. So again, let's look through the magazine, looking just like this. And again, we are still working on the torso section, torso eight again. And again, we've got no screws. These are all slotting parts. So we're gonna be slotting these parts in just here. So again, by the end of it, it's looking just like that. Hard to see what's actually being built on top of this. This is stage 34 here. Oh, we have got screws. Oh, okay, IP screws here. Didn't think we had any screws. So what are we doing with those? Okay, so we are gonna be screwing some stuff in. First part I need is this one here. And that's gonna be going. Let's uh, figure out what way around this is going. So this is gonna be going into the two holes that we can see just here. So if I line that up, there's lugs to help line this all up and get it in. Let's just put this top one in as well. Perfect. So that actually holds itself in there but they do want me to put a um, IP screw just in there. So uh, better get my screwdriver out. And that's gonna hold that lovely into place there. 
You know what, perhaps my PH1 screwdriver might have been better there. Yeah, definitely PH1 screwdriver on that. Put that to one side, because I'm gonna be taking this detail now and adding some parts to it. Namely, this tiny ball joint, first off. That's gonna be going into this top section here. And again, it has got a keyhole pattern, so there's only one way this can go in, like that. And again, an IP screw from the other side to just hold that in. Definitely the larger screwdrivers help to get these really tight. And then I've got these two details here, which are just gonna go into these points at the side. Now these aren't screwed in, these are just slot in, like this. There you go. Bring back over what we were working on before. This whole thing is gonna be going over this section we just put in. Again, two lugs with one screw hole through the center. So let's line that up, push that in, and you've guessed it, an IP screw just down the center there to hold that piece into place. I've then got this ball joint here to put in. The shorter end of that ball joint is gonna be going into the hole that we can see just there. Once it's in, it's gonna be a bit fun to put in to start off with. Because it's able to turn, it doesn't matter what position that's in at the moment. I've then got these remaining shock absorbers, which we had from issue uh, 26. And once again, these shock absorbers are gonna be going onto this point just here, and the other end's gonna go onto this point just there. Okay, so these little pieces here should be into the inside ones here because these outside ones are going to have this track which goes in just like that. It's a slotting, as you can see. So the mistake I made there was these two bits here were in the wrong holes. I need to uh, correct that next time. <laughs> but that is all there is to do in that stage. So stage 35, this is the penultimate stage now. Just flicking through the instructions. And again, we're still working on this torso. More pieces here. Looks like we've got some electrics here, actually. So we're going to be putting this into place here, uh, adding these sections. So again, not a lot to do, but this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. This is stage 35. I haven't seen electrics in this for a while. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need is this bracket and this electric here, which has got two lights in it looking like this. Okay, what I need to do is I need to put the uh, mount for the light into the hole at the bottom there, and I need to hold that in. So I'm gonna be holding that in with one of these UP screws. I'm still using my PH1 screwdriver here. Seems to be doing the job really good. The light is actually going to sit in there like that so that when I actually put this into these two holes here the light is facing the right way round. So let's just line that up to the holes and it's just uh, pushing like that. What we need to do now is we need to pass this wire down here. Stand by. And then we need to retrieve it through the top. <laughs> so as you can see, it's coming around this section. I'm gonna to need to get my tweezers to retrieve it through the top. Stand by. This isn't gonna be easy. Although saying that, I just got hold of it then. There it is, wow, look at that. I did it. We wanna tidy this wire up. So if I just keep pulling that. So it's not impeding any of these other parts. Excellent. And that's how that should look coming out the top. I've then got this bracket here, which is going to go on these two lugs on each side here. So one on this side, and then one on the bottom. Again, not the easiest things to get in, but that's clipped in, no problems at all. And this large piece here that we've got is going to go onto this ball joint just here. So it's going to go this way around, 
just push it onto the ball joint. Again, not the easiest thing to get in, but that's in just like that. It's very involved. There's so much going on here. It's hard to see what's in the right place and what isn't, but I'm just following the instructions and that's where they told me to put it. So uh, that's where it's going. <laughs> I can put that to one side because I need a couple of other bits now. As a matter of fact, I need to get some bits that are actually in my box. So stand by. I need these bits that we created. I don't know when we actually created these. But the first thing I need is this one here. And I'm going to be putting this bracket facing that way together like that. And it's going to be held in with an IP screw. No point in opening the bag for another one when I've still got an IP screw left from the previous stage. Once I've done that, I need to take, just trying to figure out which side, this side here. And this has got two lugs at the bottom there. They are going to go into the holes. Let me figure this out. Uh, this is going to hold that bit, I believe. More like that, I'm guessing. Well, we'll see when we get to put this on. Okay. So basically, this open side that we've got of the pipe here is going to go into the ball joint that we've got just there. So I'm going to push that over the top. This isn't going to be easy, but there we go, it's in. And that is in place just like that. Doesn't really tell you what to do with that stage now. That's uh, that's that. <laughs> that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, this is stage 36. The last of this pack. Here's the magazine. And again, we've only got a few parts on this that we're actually going to be piecing again to the torso section, pretty much like we did last time. So in the end, it looks like that. It doesn't look like we're using the last one of these. Okay, we've actually done this stage before, so we should be able to whiz through this. Okay, so, so to start this stage, it's pretty similar to how we started to stage a couple of stages back. Oh, I can say stage a lot of times, can't I? I'm going to be putting this bit in again, just into these three lugs here. So just lining up the top one, it should line up all the rest of them for me. Whoops, kind of, there you go. And I'm holding that in with an IP screw. That's just gonna go through that hole just there. I'm gonna use my bigger screwdriver, the PH1, make short work of that. And again, just like last time, I've got this little ball joint here going into the top, held in again with an IP screw from the other side. Get that in. Perfect. Nice and tight. Push these brackets in, one here and one here. Then this whole section is going to fit over the top of this section here this way round with a ball joint facing upwards like that once again IP screw down the front and once again here's my PH1 IP screw to get that in nice and tight excellent uh, I want to put the shorter end of this ball joint here into the socket at the side just there. Again, getting these ball joints in isn't easy. But there we go, that one's in. We wanna take the last of these um, pistons that we had. I wanna put one in this larger hole here at the top and the other one just into this point at the bottom like that there. Excellent. Once I've done that, all I need to do is take this bracket here, just like we did on this side here, I'm going to be putting this bracket into this side here to add a little bit of symmetry. Excellent. And when that's in, it should look like that. That's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. It's pretty easy to see 
where this one's going to go. You know what? I might just put that in. Actually, I won't because I've got to add a bit to that. But this is going to go on this side kind of over here. So you get the idea. But that is the finished torso so far. And there you go, that's another five stages done for this month. Once again, if you do want to get hold of this, I have put a link in the video description and there's also a QR code on the screen. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.